Okay, I want to show you guys the My Ford mobile app and its cool uses. So I have it right here in the center. I'm going to open that up. And basically, you can set it up so it has a passcode rather than having to type your password all the time, which makes it really useful. So I'm just going to put in my password here. So basically, it's showing that it's charging at work. Um, we'll finish charging at 9.29 a.m., which is just an estimate. And the cool thing is, is you can actually click on the battery itself, and it will tell you the... It's not going to show right now because it's fully charged, but when it's not fully charged, it will tell you the time at which you will get what miles you want. Um, so if you want to get to 12 miles, it'll tell you what time it'll be ready to get 12 miles kind of cool and then um, if you tap on the car it'll show you how many gallons you've saved how many co2 you've saved pounds of co2 and I have just got my car so obviously I haven't saved very much um, but that's kind of cool when you go to the bottom little icon that looks like a remote you tap that it's basically gonna let you start your car to cool it down or warm it up depending on what the last setting was you can unlock your car or lock your car uh, that's pretty nice then you click on the plug icon and this is going to show you all the ports charging ports around you when you tap on the little arrow you can go to vehicle locator which obviously you know what that's going to do vehicle info it's going to give you the miles on the odometer how the battery's doing tire pressure then you got charge settings which is where you can set up your go times so basically I have it set to like right before I leave work to set my cabin temperature at 65 um, since I live in Southern California and it's pretty hot and then in the mornings 72 degrees and then you have your value charge profiles this is where you can set it to only charge certain times well at work I want it to always charge now because it's doesn't really matter they don't have special electric rates for different things so at home I wanted to do value charging where it charges at night when you hit the arrow again you get to key personalization so you can basically take each of the keys and you can set them up to go to a specific place or be tied to a specific person um, so you can track their usage and how well they drive and whatnot then you can go to trip and charge log this is basically going to tell you on each trip how many EV miles you used your fuel economy how many kilowatts you used your score and it also gives you like how long it took charge and when it charged and all these different pretty cool things you also have trends which is basically all your different trends basically the achievements you've earned for driving your driving efficiency level how many miles you've driven um, you also have the news feed which just has Ford news in it local rankings this is basically all the people in your area and how well they drive so you go to like braking expert <clears throat> and you can see couple people here have over 700 miles 600 miles of braking that they've been able to retrieve from braking well um, the other pieces are your account the activity which tells you when your car has been fully charged and all that gives you a little you know schedule and then you have notification settings that you can turn on so your phone either gets text messages or push notifications the battery level alert this will tell you when it's fully charged vehicle management that's just to add or change your vehicle and the about so that's pretty much it um, I wanted to go over the value charge profiles in case people don't understand those it's easier to manage them from the website myfordmobile.com and log in so if we go to view all under charge profiles basically what you're gonna see is you're gonna have your 
location. So I have one for work, which is on charge now because at work, like I said earlier, there's no reason to have it charge later. Um, so my home one, so if I click on edit, it's basically going to ask you what your utility com company is. And then when you go next, it's going to ask you which type of utility plan you have. And I have the time of use domestic D2. So when I hit that and I hit next, basically what it does is it saves the profile for the Southern California Edison so it knows when the cheapest rates are. Um, mine is 11 cents per kilowatt hour on super off peak which is 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. and um, that's when my car will be set to charge. Um, then I have the default profile. It's on value which I don't really need it on there but it's just set from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. always charge on a 120 um, plug. So I hope this helps you out. It's pretty cool. I really like the car. I love being able to use mostly EV driving. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.